Hi there, this is Omega Supreme here with another Transformers toy review. This time we're having a look at the Maximal from Beast Wars Prowl. Um, now there's a couple of different versions of this one. Uh, first of all, Prowl in Beast Wars is part of uh, Magnaboss, um, uh, who's a three Transformer combiner. Um, he's an eagle and that. Um, in kind of Beast Wars Transmetals, He's kind of an owl, and you've got two different versions of him. So you've got the white version and the black version here, which I've got both of off here. So you can see I've got the black one here on, on the right, transformed into owl mode. And here on the left, prowl in uh, the white version here. So I've got the, with him as well, I've got kind of the instructions here. So he's got an attack mode in uh, both modes, which I'll uh, show you guys as well. There's a couple of different ways you can have the wings. I'll show you those as well. So it's just down to personal preference, really. I've got his tech spec here. So let's focus that for you. So he's got strength 6.1, intelligence 8.2, which is good. Speed 7.9, endurance 7.6, rank 6.5, and courage 8.1, firepower 8.8, .8, and skill 7.9. Here you go, and then you've got uh, this bit here at the bottom here. So you guys can pause that if you like as well. Also as well, I've got um, Beast Wars um, Omnibus, which uh, contains the comic book for Beast Wars Gathering, Beast Wars Ascending, and then at the back it's got all of details on all of the different characters and kind of tech specs so I've got just to show you on Prowl here so I've got Prowl here as Magnaboss here and then Prowl 2 here and uh, just checking yeah they've got the same looks like the same primary function at the top here as a few different things yeah logic is the ultimate weapon I oh, know he says something different here. He says logic provides a structure to be filled by the soul of creativity. And it's got his weakness on here. It says Prowl's wings are particularly vulnerable to attack. His uh, telekinetic powers are very draining on his physical and mental energies. Hmm. So there you go. And uh, I might read a little bit of that at the end, depending on how much time we've got. Okay, so. Let's have a look at Prowl, the black one first of all, if you like. And here is what I'll do is I'll just close the door a second because my boys are in the other room and they're just watching a DVD quickly. So just in case they come out and make a load of noise. Right, here we go. So this is him in owl mode. Nice bits of uh, red translucent plastic here, uh, bits covering the eyes. And you've got these bits, nice detail on the side here. The wings kind of fold out and in, so you can have it like that if you want to, if he's resting on something if you want to. And then you can spread his wings if you like. And then on top there, he's got this maximal symbol on the top there. He's got his little claws here. So you kind of, these are his legs in robot mode, really, that you kind of keep tucked in. Um, I couldn't remember the official way to transform him, but it looks like these bits fold down here and his arms just tuck into the back here. And that's the look of him from the back here. You see he's got some nice bits of chrome on here as well. And his attack mode is basically what you do is you can, well, I'll show you two things. One, you can just have it so his head kind of rotates around and you press this button on the back. So you do that. I guess because I was supposed to be able to see turn the head all the way around so you've got that and then also as well um, on the instruction it shows that you flick forward his wings like this you have to be careful because these bits can sometimes uh, get in the way so move that forward like that and then like that I think 
And then if you press it on the back here, it should all rotate around at the same time. So you, so you can see that. So that's not too bad. And then if you want to put it back again, you just flick these bits around and they just tuck into the back here. There's a little slot where they where the wings tuck in like that. Um, fairly easy to transform from what I remember. I'll just try and kind of wing it as it were. Uh, so here we go. So I put his wings like that. Uh, these bits then are become part of his arms here. So those bits will fold up into there as far as I remember. These bits are his legs. So these bits will come down. He's a little bit stiff because he's been in a box for about a couple of years. So that pulls forward like that. And then let's have a look at this bit, how this opens up. I think this swivels forward like that. Okay. Yeah, so you swivel this bit into here. So then that then becomes his chest with the owl bit on there and the other thing I didn't notice is you can actually move this round so if you push it in you can swivel it round like that so you've just got this bit on the top here if you want to instead but I think I prefer it with the actual maximal symbol out like that fold this back pull his head forward and then you, uh, yeah, so I think that's, that bit goes at the top here. His wings are a little bit fiddly um, in robot mode. You plug his arms in, so this, these silver bits plug in here, and you move that forward like that. And then he kind of holds together like that. Okay. So there you've got him in a robot mode. So I put him side by side next to White Prowl if you like. So you can see they are exactly the same mould, just different colours. Uh, it's just down to which one you prefer or you can just have them as um, perhaps one is this one is Prowl and this one as I don't know, Smokescreen or Blue Streak or someone like that perhaps. Um, you could do it that way. Uh, but yeah, really cool little figures as far as articulation goes. You can move his arm up and down. This on a ball joint here. This bit's on a ball joint here as well, so you can swivel it around. Uh, leg, again, on a ball joint, so that can move forward. And this is on a swivel here, like that. And then you've got articulation here, just below the knee, kind of at the shin. and on his foot here as well. The hip is on a swivel, so you can move that from side to side if you want to. And it's hindered a little bit at the back because he's got his um, kind of tail pin at the back here. Um, this middle section doesn't hold in together terribly well. This bit also rotates around. And he's also got the, the same gimmick in robot mode as um, what they call as a kind of an attack mode from what I can gather and from what I can see on it on the instructions it, they tell you to kind of put fold these bits forward sorry so you can see that fold these bits forward so they're actually in front of him here so you do have to sort of move the head out of the way a little bit or just rotate it round as you do it like that so, and then you click in these two bits at the top here, so then it means that it moves around with it at the same time. And I actually think on the instructions it's got it facing perhaps the other way, I'm not sure. But um, either way, it, it works the same, same principle anyway. So you just tuck everything back so it's then out of the way. So you've got them like that, and then you've got the button at the back. And I'll just try and show you the best I can. Let's 
move his legs out of the way. Like that. It's kind of hard to do while you're holding him because um, you kind of hold him by the back. The other way, um, preference if you want to store his wings a different way, is I've had him a couple of times stored with his wings kind of plugged into the back like that and tucked in like that on the sides and tucked in that way. So if you want to you could always have one like that and one like that if you wanted to but actually I think you probably they do probably actually look better with the wings at the top like they're supposed to actually. So I'll just do it like that I think. Yeah, so they, these bits are fiddly. They do get in the way somewhat. When you're trying to do that. Uh, there you go. Swing that back round like that. And they, they don't exactly plug in at, at the back there but kind of hold in there. They kind of just rest on the top more than anything. There you are and then you've got him in back into normal robot mode. Uh, what I'll do is I'll then transform the owl so you can just have a look at him quickly. I'll push this bit in here so you can see how that looks. You've got that in like that. Um, let's try and remember how to do it. You see on these bits rather than the silver you've got the the blue bits as well here. Yeah. So let's try and remember how to do this. Pull these bits out at the back here and then move the whole thing back in. So I think you tuck his head in that way, I think. Yeah. Then this bit comes back around the back. Okay, and then this bit here comes round to be the front of the owl here, and then you move it, these bits forward, they tuck in underneath here, so then they become kind of smaller owl legs, and from what I can gather, these bits there.